It's so important that quarterbacks be on the same page with their offensive coordinators and coaches so that they understand why they're doing what they're doing. Today, with a little bit of quarterback training, we're going to talk about play action pass. Why, where, how, what, and when, and how to make it most effective for you. That's coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, 11-year pro quarterback and a full-time college football analyst. And I want to talk to you about play action pass today. I got an email from one of our fans the other day and they were asking, what's the difference between play action pass, run action pass, and RPO? And so I decided I'm going to do a video, but I'm going to dedicate each video to that specific style of play. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell, that way every time new content comes out, you'll get notified. Also, give me a thumbs up if you love playing quarterback or if you're learning something about football here on our YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you leave a comment down below. Ask me any questions that you have and I'll be happy to answer them. Maybe we'll even make a video for you. Today, we're gonna to talk about play action pass. As a quarterback, play action can be your absolute best friend. In order to make that happen, though, your team has to be effective at running the ball. I interview coaches all the time. I watch football all the time. And I hear guys saying, well, we're going to be stubborn with the run. Being stubborn with the run is one thing, but being effective with the run is entirely different. Going back to my college career when I played at Cal, our offense my junior year was 50.1% passing and 49.9% rushing. The reason for that is because we weren't just stubborn with the run, but we were effective with the run. We ended up having, I think, six guys that played offensive line for me over the course of two years go on to play in the NFL or in some other pro league. And so we had really good offensive line. We had great running backs, Anthony Wallace, Russell White, Lindsey Chapman, Greg Zumwalt, some fantastic players. But because we were so effective in the running game, our play-action passing game was off the charts great we had teams that had to commit to the run play action pass works when you are effective running the football. If you get teams that are trying to put seven guys in the box, eight guys in the box, and they have to commit to the run to stop the run. Now that's going to clear guys downfield and play action is going to make that available to you as a quarterback, as a quarterback, what you should be thinking when they're calling play action pass is they are trying to give that run look. It is imperative for you as a young quarterback or as a coach to teach your quarterbacks that when a play action pass is called, you need to sell that run fake. You are trying to convince the defense that you are running the football. And so in order to do that, it's your fakes. It's the way you extend the football. It's the time that you take on the fake. All of those things are extremely important. You want to sell that in order to sell that you have to look like run. I always used to tell offensive linemen, young players, it needs to look, smell, taste, and sound like run. And so all those big guys up front, they want to give that run blocking look. As a quarterback, you want to, what they call, what I call getting cramps. I teach my quarterbacks that when you go to give that handoff, you get cramps, you bend over, you hide yourself, let the defense forget about you. Really commit to making it look like run. Watch the running back as he leaves, as he walks out the backside, because that's what most quarterbacks do when they hand the ball off. And so study film and look at what you look like when you hand the ball off, and you want to make the play action look exactly like that. Now, it's effective, I said, because you have a running game. And if you have an effective running game, then guys have to pack that box. You make it look like run, you get guys to commit up, and then they're out of position and scrambling to get into place. When do you run it? Well, you would run play action on normal running downs for you as a team. So if your offensive coordinator is calling it, he is probably calling it because it's on a running down. So first down, second down, when teams are expecting you to go into that zone running game, into that counter running game or power running game if you're a two-back set, that's when you're calling play action pass because you're trying to get those run defensive sets so that you can throw the ball against them. How do you run it? Well, you have to run it, like I said, just like it's a run. You have to make it sound, smell, and, and feel like a run to that defense. And you have to run it fast because defense is only going to be out of position for a second. So you commit to it, you sell it, you be patient on your fake. But then as a quarterback, as soon as you come out and you get into that passing mode, you want to take advantage 
of the leverage that you created through that run action fake. And so we're going to look at a couple plays here, two great play action plays. One's from Oregon, one's from Washington. One is an all-time favorite, maybe the best play ever invented in football for a quarterback. And if you can master it, then you can be really efficient with the football, especially great down in the red zone. But we're going to take a look at what the quarterbacks are doing right, what the teams are doing right, and why these plays are effective. Let's go to the film. So first play, let's take a look at University of Oregon against Auburn. This is in the opening game, the classic kickoff game here. And this is down in Texas. And Oregon, a huge power from the Pac-12. Auburn, big power from the SEC. And so this was a national attention game. Obviously, Justin Herbert at quarterback for Oregon. And Oregon is extremely effective running the football. It's 21 personnel, and they have, obviously, running back, another H-back tight end type, and another H-back tight end type in here. And so it's a run set, run personnel for Oregon, and Auburn has everybody packed in here. Now, they got some big red meat-eating dudes in here. They're, they're defensive line studs. They have some good linebackers as well. They start off giving kind of a high cover four look, with these safeties off, what you're going to see is this safety is going to invert down here to the middle of the field. And so you're going to end up with cover three on the play. Oregon is going to give a run action fake to the front side. So you're going to see Herbert reverse out, you're going to see a downhill look here. And the H back is going to come back and block like he's sealing that backside. Everybody else is blocking front side zone. These guys are going to double on the nose and get push, you're going to get a cutoff block here. So they're going to do an excellent job of making this look like run. The pass that's going to come off the back side of this, you're going to see this receiver run a deep post. This receiver is going to run a smash down in like he's blocking and come back out. Outside receiver is going to run what's called a climb or a delta. And the key here, watch him get vertical as he hits the hash and then comes back out. Back after he takes the fake is going to end up trickling out here to the flat. And what they're trying to do is put stress on this corner and whatever flat defender is going to be down here. It's a three-level vertical route with one with this crosser and this post over the top. And so the play action sets this up. You're going to see all these linebackers bite down here. And this corner, after he gets his eyes in the backfield, is going to turn and lock on and match with this receiver. So I'll run it through one time so you can take a look at the play. Now let's go back and take a look at what ha what's happening here. Play action is going to get these backers all to flow with that run action. Again, remember this whole offensive line looking like run. Good play action fake inside. When they do that, this corner is going to lock man on here. He's going to vacate this zone as the post comes through. Because these backers are all down low, as this receiver runs his climb, he's got nothing but open space. The outside backer to this side, clear this off for you, outside backer to this side bites run first and then retreats and is really out of sorts because he's trying to get back in, but his eye discipline is gone. He's, he's retreating, trying to find something, and he doesn't get enough depth, and there's nobody left to take this climb as it comes across. So a little slow motion here. You see on the play action fake, everybody flowed and everybody was out of position. Flat defender is late getting out to the flat. This linebacker doesn't know what he's looking for. This linebacker didn't make any contact on the receiver as he came through that zone. And now with this corner running and vacating that zone, this area is left wide open and undefended. All because play action early set that up by getting everybody to bite inside. Herbert sees it, drills a strike. 
and it's down to the goal line. We'll take a look at it from the end zone here real quick. And what I want you to watch is as this play action unfolds, Herbert steps here, back comes downhill, Herbert comes back out. This tight end H-back comes back and blocks back, gives that run action look like he's sealing that backside. All these guys block front side zone. They double the nose and work across here to seal all that off. All that sells run. When he does, all backers react up to run. Safety reacts up to run. And they forget about receivers for a second. This slot back comes down and makes it look like he's blocking, peels, and then you're going to see a great route here on the gain by a receiver as he gets vertical and then comes out. We're in slow motion for you. Right here you can see everybody is still packed inside this box, looking run, chasing run, as this route starts to gain. Safety down here is down low. He's kind of lost in the shuffle as well. This corner locked up, this post, when it crosses his face, he's going to react and run with it, vacating that zone. As this climb comes in, he's going to get vertical and run to nothing but green grass on the backside. Again, you can see it all opening up for him here. As soon as this corner turns his hips and he's gone, these guys are lost in space. You have two defenders on top of each other. This guy's getting mauled three on one. And Herbert has a completely clean dish because play action has set that up for him. And he's just waiting on it. He knows it's about to happen, just waiting for that route to come out. And that's just pitch and catch at that point. Throw a strike. Let your guy run underneath it. And then get down to the three-yard line. So that was a look at Oregon. And they love to run that three-level vertical stretch, especially back into the boundary. They're really good at it. Play action is phenomenal for them because they have a great running game. It, it establishes that running game, and then they have great play action pass off the backside. Herbert was really good on it, got a ton of yards on it, and Oregon has always run it really well. But now I'm going to show you Maybe the greatest play ever invented for a quarterback. When I got down to Tampa, Steve DeBerg was down there. And DeBerg was a 17-year vet at that point. And he was a magician when it came to play action. And I had come from such a running-oriented team with great play action. When I got down there, he literally told me that I was the best rookie he'd ever seen at play action pass. And it's because it was so effective for me. And it was coached so hard into me that understanding how you can affect the defense with a great play action fake to set yourself up for success and clear guys wide open uh, was really important to me. And I understood that as a quarterback, you should understand that too, but I'm going to show you the naked boot greatest play ever as a quarterback. You get out, you get free, you have choices. And if you run the routes, right, tag the right routes on it, you give yourself a triangle read or a three level vertical back into the boundary and, and it works out great for you. It's easy pitch and catch and you should find guys that are open and it's super effective down by the goal line as well. So now let's take a look. So you can see UW up at Husky Stadium here and they are about to run the naked boot by the quarterback. And so the way that they run this play, you're going to see that front side zone fake here, big stretch. This is back when Jake Browning was playing there. So they had a great running game. You're going to see the H-back tight end here come across the formation and out in the flat. Outside receiver is going to run a deep comeback, and you're going to get a cross by the backside receiver. So this, the way they run it here with the comeback, what you end up with is a triangle read for a quarterback. Super simple. It's one, two, three, any way you look at it, generally on the naked, here's your one, here's your two, and here's your two A. So it's either one or you come back to these two here, and you should have a choice. Some teams, when they run the naked, they will run front side on the go. They will bring this guy out into the flat, bring the trail across here, and then 
run a deep over on the backside or a post on the backside. I personally prefer the post because if you get this guy getting nosy and jumping that crosser, then you have the home run here, and that's something the coaches up in the box can let you know. But the naked boot is a quarterback's best friend, especially if you have a great running game. I'll run it for you real quickly here, and we'll watch this develop. So watch flow. The entire defense flows now. Everybody's coming this way. They've all come here, and now they're trying to retreat to get back. Only the safety and the front side corner weren't affected by the run. You can see outside linebacker late because he was looking at run, and so that tight end that came back across the formation is wide open. Nothing but green grass out here. Super easy throw for a quarterback. Easy pitch and catch. The other thing that's going to happen here is you're going to see that this comeback is also going to be open, and you can see right here, Nobody around, this is going to come open as well. And so you can't overuse it. If you use the naked too much, what ends up happening is teams start to sit home for it, they key in on it, and they play it. But if you're really effective with that front side zone running game, what you get in the naked is throws like this, where your guys are wide open because you got them. And again, I talked about it. When do you run it? Well, you run it in running situations, run downs. This is first and 10 for Washington. And so they come out, little front side zone fake, and run the naked boot. Just look at the flow on defense here. Everybody is down here. Everybody is flowing with run, leaves that guy wide open. Soon as Jake Browning turns around, he's thinking, I got this, no brainer, easy pitch and catch. The naked boot, I can't emphasize that enough, is a fantastic play for quarterbacks. Now we'll take a look at it one time from the end zone. Again, watch Browning on the fake here, and I'll draw it for you again one time. This is the guy that's going to catch the ball coming out. He's actually going to block down and delay coming back out, so it's like an outlet for the quarterback if everything else breaks down. You're going to get Backside receiver on that climb route. Front side's running that comeback. He's going to reverse out here. Defense is going to shade. Everybody's going to fly to the run action. Watch the linebackers. Everybody come down on that. This guy gets fooled big time. Play action fake. Uh-oh. This guy's out of position. Because you can see right now, this is that tight end. So his feet, his body, he is running to make a backside play, which really isn't his responsibility. But this is going to sneak right past him behind the line of scrimmage. And so I like that orientation by running that drag route from the backside. Too late. Just recognized it. I'm out of position. That's my guy. He's already beat. And for Browning, easy pitch and catch. Guy in the flat, super simple. So you can see, for a definition of play action, it is designed to look like run, but it is a pass all the way. You're looking to throw the ball down the field. That play action, it's a run action in the backfield with the offensive line, but you're going to throw the football. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to the channel. we got all kinds of football coming up, especially as we inch closer to the season. We are going to have all kinds of coverage of football, breaking down college game film, looking at plays. So please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, make sure you get notified every time we have new content. Also, if you like playing the position, if you learned about play action, or if you love the naked boot, please give me a thumbs up. Also, Leave me comments. Ask me questions. I would love to answer them and help your understanding of the game evolve. That's play action. I'll break down RPOs next, but I appreciate you watching today. A little quarterback training here at EliteAthletesTV.com. And remember, if you want skills, drills, and position training so that you understand the skills it takes to play the position, if you want to get ready for the season, we have full training on the site. Full programs, full systems, full instruction. You don't even have to have a coach there. As long as you've got a mobile device, you can go out and work and get better at the position. 
every quarterback should understand the why of play action pass. Now you understand it better. Coming up, I'll hit you with some RPO, but I appreciate you watching. If you want to be a great quarterback, then you need quarterback training, and I'm here to bring it to you.